Punch Planet has a new character, Arnoid. It's a big old robot. Oh, Shoots. I remember when that was just a shadow on the screen. So now you can see it. I believe it's available on the Apple Store build uh, for now on the Apple Arcade. Uh, oh, no, Steam as well. There you go. Yeah. Um, Arnoid. It's a robot, and it moves like a robot, and it attacks basically by, like, sticking its limbs out and sort of, like, it, it, it's... The style looks great for the game. It's basically almost like um, a cooler version of Rob the Robot. It has full aerial control with a little, like, flight mode, little lasers, hammer and dawn. How any robot be cooler than Rob the Robot? How could you say that? By having slightly bigger proportions. No, by doing anything. Rob the Robot sucks. I was being facetious. You're right. It's great. Arnoid looks cool. Called Arnoid? Is that like R, just the word? The no, A-R-N-01-D. -D. I'm just calling him Arnoid, because that's what it looks like. Wouldn't that be Arnold? Could be. The one could be an L or an I. I saw I my brain turned it into an I. Oh wow. That's a robot. It's a robot. That's just a robot. That's like your printer attacking you. It looks <laughs> like a printer <laughs> up top with with a uh, big old like Ed two oh nine legs below. Or Metal Gear Rex legs below. Yeah, that's yeah. really funny. Punch Planet looking strong. Uh, oh, excuse me. Near near Pardon? reincarnation coming out on February eighteenth. So that's the which uh, one is that? That's the mobile. Oh, they're gonna have a crossover event with uh, Near Automata, in which Nine S, Two B, and it seems like A Two will be playable in that game at launch. Oh, cool. So check that out. And I want to uh, like uh, uh, seeing the trailer, I kind of want to go, "Okay, well, this is a fun little non-canonical thing." And then you go, "Wait, no. You can't say that until you know for sure." Oh man, if you want Oh, this is totally non-canon, isn't it? Followed by wait, what? Oh man, that FF14 quest line mm -hmm. went in like mm -hmm. so they they put they they have the big part on the odd numbered ones and then they have a little side quest that takes like half an hour mm -hmm. like on the even numbered ones and the last one is it's it's yeah. literally crazier than anything that happens in Automata my friend was screaming at me. She was telling me, like, dude, like, holy fuck what they're doing with this stuff. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Like, it's it's going to be that the 14 quest line is the Rosetta Stone to the series. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yoko, you fucking son of a bitch. Like, it's so out there. God. Like... Yoko knows, he knows that you don't have to make everything matter. You can make some things not matter and just be little cool nods to stuff that people know and like. But nah, though. None of, none of it's irrelevant. It all has to matter. So, fuck. You yeah. See that? He said an interview of him recently where he's getting super pissed off that people call the protagonist of Near Near. No. He's like, that's not his name. His name is Protagonist. You name him yourself. But everyone calls him Nier. I hate yeah. it. Yeah. And and then the interviewer is like, didn't you call him Nier in some of the visual, in some of the drama CDs? Yeah. And, novel? and he's like, yeah, the publisher made me. So wait, who's Nier? But, but Nier is nothing. Nier's the name of the game. He doesn't have a canon name. It's whatever you name him. Because I was always on about how it was kind of weird 
that the franchise is named after this main protagonist from this game, but in the end, they had to go with it because people know what it is. So the sequels have nothing to do with this character, but we're still calling the games the near because that's the name yeah. that was already out there. No. What? Because it, it came off because um, in the trailer, like it, it was like Kaine and then and Emil, right? And yeah. then it shows protagonist. And then the 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 interviewer goes, "Why is this, why do you call him protagonist and not near?" It's like because his name isn't near. It's like Yoko, are you insane? Oh my god, I think he's actually insane. And then he goes like, "Well, we we made sure that no one ever calls him by his name in the game ever." Yeah, it has an RPG then, insert your name thing, sure, but yeah, and then and then people are like, "Wait, isn't like the interviewer points out, but what about all those parts where like characters saying near this or near that?" And he's like, "Well, that's cuz you named him that way." Oh my god. That's like it's like this is like <laughs> getting mad that anyone dare call him Chrono. Or 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 are yeah. you, Narukami? You know, like it's one thing to put in the insert your main character name trope, uh, uh, system in in your game, whatever. But usually, for the sake of understanding a coherent story, we assume that there is a canon name. And in yeah, this case, it, it's all the fuck. It's all. It's always really funny to me because whenever they're like, the main character has no name, the first thing that the community of that game does is fight to discover what they're going to call the character. Minato Arisato. Yeah. And then the movies changed it, but that's still the one that I have in my head. Right? Um, and then, um, like, the Fallout games. Like, what, what is the name of the Fallout characters? They all actually have names, right? There's the Vault Dweller, the Chosen One, the Lone Wanderer, the Courier, and um, I forget the, what the guy in Four is called. But like, they they all they all have titles, right? What's the main character's name in Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne? Demi Fiend. Demi Fiend. D that's not his name. But yeah. too bad now it's his name. His well, name hey, is Demi Fiend. Joker gets to fly by Joker in uh, Smash Brothers. Right? That was their solution. That yeah, was their Akira. obvious solution to his that. His name's problem. Akira, but they get to fly by Joker. Because, like, there's so much. Vo like, dude, playing through Persona 4, it is so awkward how they have to dance around the fact that your character can have any name. Mm hmm. Like, yeah. there are some parts where, where Yosuke goes, all right, let's do it, leader. Leader. Like, Fucking, ugh. Right. You try saying <sighs> that to this guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, buddy. But then again, Byleth is just <laughs> Byleth, right? Yeah. And that's fine. Like, just do the thing where they ask you what the name of the character is, and it says Cloud, and then you can choose to delete it. But if you press OK, it's Cloud. And then the, the voice acting is there for Cloud. Oh, boy. Well, now you're asking a lot. Oh, man. I, when I was playing Shining Force 2, it asked you to fucking name your character, right? I would name him whatever. I'd usually name him Pat because, of course, I did. And then, like, many years into playing that game, I decided to make another run. Like, I wonder what happens if you just hit end with nothing on it, right? Mm-hmm. And it goes, did you pick Bowie? And I'm like, what? <laughs> the what? <laughs> uh... That name sucks. And I was so mad because I felt like the game like like changed my character's name to a shittier name. It's good. Oh, it's yeah. a great last name. I think it's a terrible first name. I've I've given up. And in on... Shiny Force, in Shiny Force One, it's the worst because the main character's name is just Max. 
like, like if the world is such that it calls for me to make a self insert then so be it right if i'm playing monster hunter or a souls game then so be it but if at all there is a story that exists without a self insert i want that 10 times out of 10 yeah and i, I mean there's there's obvious ways around it in monster hunter they easily get around it by just calling you hunter right if you mm. want the character's name to be whatever they want and like aggressively whatever they want right then make it so that there is a title or job or something right that they call you like imagine if you could choose your character's name in ghost of tsushima right mm -hmm. then they would then it would work fine as long as they always called you ghost ghost yeah or by your title before that right yeah mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, you know how you were like, oh, what the, whatever that fucking Mando, Mando guy is? Yeah. He's the Mandalorian. Yeah. There you go. Bam it. I actually confused myself on that more because I know more about that than I should because I called him Mandalore first. And then my brain went, wait, no, is he Mandalore? I don't even know. I didn't watch the show. He's probably not actually Mandalore. Hmm, you're getting you're getting yourself all wired up in a bunch of weird wires. Am I? I don't know. He's the Mandalorian. Okay. That's it. Um anyway, the uh the that that upsets me to know that Yoko is mad at that. And it also upsets me extra hard because it's not like Nier has an actual definition then. You're yelling about people calling him Nier, but then you won't say what Nier actually is. Fuck you. Yeah, Nier's a made-up word. That so sucks. I guess it, it, it made sense to everyone that it would be the character's name because it's, na it's a made-up word. That's so fucking frustrating. Like, define the thing then. Because you have an undefined thing that is the title of the franchise, and then you have this unnamed character. So people put two and two together, and you say A is not A, and B is not B. So then, okay, then tell us what A is. Yeah. Right. People are saying it means curse. I don't know what language that is. And if it's a made-up language, it doesn't count. Near means Japanese sword. Okay. Well, It does, you're right. Uh, yeah. So, we'll see if that collaboration event is or is not canon, but playable to be in 9S coming to the mobile in February when it launches. 